Let's take a look now at the gram-positive solution in some detail so we can understand how it works. The outer layer of the gram-positive bacteria consists of this thick layer of peptidoglycan, which can also be called murine. Embedded in the murine layer are what we call tachoic acids and lipotachoic acids. There are also proteins on the outer surface of the peptidoglycan. And of course, all this is on top of the cell membrane, which is a typical lipid bilayer made of phospholipids. Uh, there are proteins that are embedded in this membrane, and we'll talk about those functions in a minute. So here is an overview of this whole gram-positive solution. Again, the thick murine on top of the cell membrane. And the function of the murine is to protect the cell membrane. It excludes hydrophobic chemicals, which tend to be the dangerous ones. So let's look at this in a little more detail. So the thick cell wall, again, is called the peptidoglycan or murine. It's a polymer of sugars and amino acids. This structure is unique to bacteria. We don't find it anywhere else in the kingdom of life. And that's why we can target its synthesis using antibiotics. And we'll talk about that in another lecture. As I said, this cell wall is hydrophilic. So hydrophilic compounds, which the bacteria need, can pass through it. But hydrophobic compounds, which are typically the dangerous ones, are excluded. So for example, we have in our intestines bile salts to help us digest. These are very detrimental to bacteria, but the peptidoglycan actually can resist the bile salts. So many bacteria can pass through our stomach and intestine uh, to infect us. This outer layer, of the gram-positive bacteria, the peptidoglycan or the murine, is a polymer that forms a very protective sac around the bacterium. It consists of glycan chains of alternating N-acetylglucosamine and N-acetylnuraminic acid, which you can see here. And there are many layers of these sugars. They're connected together by two short peptides made up of short amino acids. So this basically gives us a two-dimensional network, which is sort of like the chain mail that knights used to wear over them that was made of metal to protect them. You can imagine the murine or the peptidoglycan is really something very similar. Now remember that this thick layer is sitting over the cell membrane, the murine or the peptidoglycan, what we call the cell wall. Embedded in it are tychoic acids or lipotychoic acids. These are polymers of a sugar alcohol, either ribitol or glycerol, linked by phosphodiester bonds. And these molecules play a role in pathogenesis. They allow the bacteria to adhere to specific tissues. These are the components of these tychoic acids. On the left is glycerol tychoic acid. In the bracket is the basic subunit the glycerol, and then that is repeated over and over to make the long chain, and they're linked by phosphodiester bonds. On the right is ribitol tycholic acid. It's a different glycerol alcohol. It happens to be a bit longer. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to U.S. MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.